Hey guys, I want to talk about an article that I read the other day. It was published on the independent website, but it kind of shocked me uh, that it was actually printed. Uh, well, that it was actually posted. It's an article about Zoella. As you probably all know, she's quite a popular YouTuber. This article was basically just slating her. It was horrible. It was horribly written. Uh, the things that they said were really harsh. Um, I'll post it down in the description just in case you haven't read it. I don't, I don't agree with how it was written and the majority of things that were said. I'm not a Zoella fan. Um, there, there's no point to me watching her videos because she's mainly a beauty and fashion blogger. So obviously that's not the kind of thing that I watch. So obviously I don't watch her. So I can't make that many comments and judgments. I don't dislike her. I've got nothing against her. I, like, I just I just don't watch her, and that's my personal preference. This, this article was basically just saying how she um, shouldn't be a role model for teenage girls, and teenage girls need a role model. There's nothing wrong with Zoella being a role model, if that's what teenage girls want as their role model. Like, they don't have to choose her as a role model, and I don't think Zoella is putting herself out there trying to be a role model she's just trying to be a youtuber like she's doing what she wants to do and she enjoys it and if she gets money from it and she gets publicity excellent but girls don't have to watch her videos girls don't have to look at her and be like yeah i want to be just like zoella and i think that's really important to stress here the fact that they're putting the blame on zoella for having this job and having this viewing and the fact that girls shouldn't strive to be like her. But here's my issue with it. Girls should strive to be whatever they want to be. So should everyone. Zola has actually put herself out there and become successful for doing what she loves. So surely we should be saying that girls can do what they want to do and that they should strive to do what they want to enjoy. Like... <laughs> I don't really know where to go with this because that that's it that's the whole point girls should do what they want to do and if they enjoy what they do then they're going to want they're going to do it better i will say that a few points in the article i did agree with purely because i think that as well has a lot of power and being in the public eye gives you a lot of power and you know you can persuade a lot of people to do things and say things and think a certain way and I honestly do think that Zoella kind of doesn't practice what she preaches, which sounds really bad, and I will explain it. She does beauty videos and hairstyle videos. I, I don't know what she does. She does fashion and beauty stuff. And she preaches that girls shouldn't care what they look like. They shouldn't have to wear makeup. They shouldn't have to look a certain way. To me, I think that's a little bit hypocritical that she's preaching one thing and practicing another. I have been made aware that in her blog video she doesn't really wear makeup and she'll express herself as how she is. Um, but obviously if people watch her main channel but don't watch her vlog channel then they're not going to understand that and not going to see that difference. I honestly believe that people should just do what they want and enjoy what they do. But what really bugs me is that people are reading this article and making comments like, oh my god, someone's finally said it, thank god, she's terrible. Like, if you had a problem, I'm pretty sure you could have gone to Zoella and like, left her a message or sent her an email, and if enough people had an issue with her, she would have addressed it. She seems like a decent person. It's the fact that everyone's just jumping on this bandwagon because someone got published for bashing her. It really bugs me how many people are like saying that the article is completely right and how she shouldn't be a role model and how she's really hypocritical and horrible and whatever. Because she's not. She's doing her own thing. Just let her do it. If you have an issue with her, don't watch her. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place. And I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to rant about it really because it's really bugged me that people are now just jumping on the bandwagon to slate her for doing what she wants to do. I would go into loads of feminist crap and be like, it's loads of, like, I've, I've seen quite a lot of men um, basically being like, she's terrible, oh god no, but she is fit though. And she was like, 
just go away. Just no one cares. <laughs> yeah, this video is probably really all over the place, and I really apologise for that. But it's actually now November, <laughs> and I still need to catch up with Vlogtober. So, yeah. I'm really sorry for this video being really weird and all over the place, but I just really wanted to rant about it. Uh, please go and read the article. If you agree with the article, leave in the comments why you agree with it. You're just taking someone's success and making them feel bad about it. I don't understand why someone is just being really bitter about it all and um, just being extremely rude about it. Um, so yes, I'm going to end this here. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!